Automating your Monday.com workflow will eliminate a lot of manual input. And it's a lot easier than you might think. In this video, we'll show you how to set up automations in Monday.com, no matter how complex your workflow is. As a quick rundown, automations take processes, be it digital or mechanical, and complete them automatically without the need for manual input. They're completed automatically when a certain action acts as a trigger for the process to start. A basic example is a morning alarm clock, where you tell your phone to sound an alarm at a certain time. The phone then triggers the alarm when the condition is met, which in this instance is the time being the time that you set the alarm for. We've gone into detail about automations in a previous video, and if you'd like to check that out, we'll leave a link accompanying this video. In Monday.com, automations are made simple using the platform's intuitive automation center. You can open it up by clicking this little robot icon at the top of the board you want to automate. It will present you with this, showing you the existing board automations. Just click on the Templates tab at the top. Here you'll find everything you need to get started with automating your Monday.com boards. In here is a ton of pre-made automations, known as recipes, to choose from to add to your board. The categories bar on the left will provide you with categories relating to what part of the board you want to automate. For example, if you work in a project board where the groups represent different stages of a project, you may want an automation to automatically send an item to the next group when it's at that next stage. Using a status column to track an item's current stage change, you can go to status change and find a recipe to automate this action. You can also type in the parts that you want to automate in the search. So searching for status group will find all recipes with these included. This one here, when status changes to something, move item to group will do the trick. Click use template to show this recipe on screen. First, you need to tell the recipe the parameters that cause it to trigger the automation. Then set the something to the stage of the project that you want the automation to trigger, which starts the automated process. With the trigger set up, you now need to tell monday.com what the process is. You want the item to move to the next group stage, so this would be telling it to move to the next group in your board. With this complete, hit create automation and it will be added to your board. Test it if you wish to make sure it's working, and the automation is now done. Now you may find that this level of automation is enough for you, and you can stop there. But Monday.com's automation can go much further. Whenever you use a template to create a new automation, edit an existing one, or duplicate one, it generates as a customizable recipe. You can also start with a custom recipe by using the Add Custom Automation button in the Automation Center. Custom recipes are awesome because not only can you add extra actions to the process that you're putting, but you can also add conditions to the trigger too. Let's say that you want to move a project here as an item from concept to production. However, you want to ensure that each project has a project manager assigned to it and a concept document is attached before going on to the production stage. In the custom recipe, add a condition to the trigger using the plus icon in the top part of the recipe. A new line with and will appear and a selection menu will appear with available condition options. You can add as many of these as you want to pinpoint exactly when an automation should trigger. For our example, we want to make sure that it's looking at the files column where the team add the concept document to make sure that it's been added. We also want a person column with a project manager assigned. So add two column is empty conditions. Make one the files column and the other the project manager column. We want this process to trigger only when both have been filled. So change the is to is not. Now the trigger is only successful if both the columns have been filled. Alternatively, if you'd prefer for it to be an exact person in that project manager column, you can instead use person is as the condition and set the exact person that you want in this column for it to trigger. And if you want to add another action to the process, press the plus in the bottom half and choose the action you want the automation to complete after the previous action. Again, add as many as you want and then create the automation. And if it doesn't move the item, then you know that something is missing. If you want, you can also duplicate the recipe and change the conditions to be the opposite where they are empty. And instead of moving the item, it will change the status again to one that prompts the user to fill the gaps. 
You can even create automations that chain together for more complex workflows, including going across boards. For example, your overview board may help with tracking your projects, but the production team may have their own process tracking board to help with tracking their projects. You can use automations not only to move items around groups and boards, but you can even trigger the creation of an item in a different board and then connect it through a connect column automatically. This means that items can go straight from being logged as ready for production in the overview board to an item being created in the production team's board and its progress tracked from that new item in the overview with a mirror column. For testing out these types of complex automations, we'd recommend creating a new workspace exclusively for testing, duplicating your boards you want to test and then moving them to the new workspace. Test new automation chains to your heart's content, safe in the knowledge that your live data is untouched. But if you'd rather speak to an expert about setting up more advanced workflows using automations, including with integrations or training on automations, we here at Enable can help. Just check out the link accompanying this video to book a meeting in less than 30 seconds. But that is all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. And from everybody here at Enable, have a fantastic day.